Murray County Animal Control says it's the worst case of animal cruelty they've ever seen. More than 80 animals crammed into one small house. By the time investigators got inside, most of the animals were dead. News Channel 5's Chris Davis shows us what comes next for the surviving animals. So we look at their eyes, their ears, their skin. We listen to their heart and their lungs. So often we wish our pets could talk. Oh, I know, you're so sweet. Let me look at your teeth here. To know what they're thinking or if anything's wrong. He's learning how to, to come out of his shell and learn that people are not bad. But in this case, it may be merciful because where do you even begin? They also were probably left in a crate and never taken out. So they have what's equivalent to bed sores where they've been resting in their urine and their feces. The chronic conditions he's been in hasn't allowed his eyes to really flourish. 23 animals were found near death inside this Murray County home. 50 other animals were already dead. Some of their bodies had been decomposing for months, even years. What I was told is that there were two back bedrooms. One was dedicated to a lot of the dead dogs and the other one was dedicated to a lot of the dead cats. Animal control officials believe Carolyn Bauer was actually working with animal nonprofits out of West Tennessee to collect unwanted animals and keep them inside her home. But records indicate she may have had issues with animal cruelty before. She has a history in Davidson County as well as Murray County. In 2008, Bauer was convicted of animal abuse charges. In 2017, after moving to Murray County, she was subject to another investigation, but it never led to charges. If you need help with an animal, please reach out. This is totally avoidable. Most of the survivors are now being placed in temporary foster homes and can be permanently adopted in a few weeks. This morning he ate ravenously for the first time. So that one day their new families can show them the kind of love that requires no explanation. They deserve the best second chance, and we are very honored to be a part of that. Chris Davis, News Channel 5.